In a FinSeris project called Sasamis, physicists Pavel Pentila and Antti Pajanen have been studying at the atomic level the properties of elementary wood fibrils found in plant cell walls. The exact location of the hemicellulosis is not clear because even in spruce, of which we know quite a lot now, uh, even there we, we know that also all of the components, uh, cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin, are somehow linked to each other, so they are close to each other. The unique aspect of the Sasamis project uh, is to integrate X-ray scattering measurements with atomistic simulations uh, to test hypothetical scattering patterns computed from the atomistic models against the measurements and in this way to gradually refine uh, the models and to get a clearer picture of how the cell wall nanostructure looks like and how it responds to changing moisture content. The Sasamis project has generated atomic scale models of the structure of the cellulose microfibril bundles that predict the location of hemicellulose in natural wood. Combined with experimental data, these may enable us to understand and then manipulate the interactions of wood-derived materials with water. Wood in general is suitable for the X-ray scattering measurements because it has a very strong orientation of the fibrils. When the cell wall absorbs moisture, it swells. And the swelling is seen at the level of individual cellulose microfibrils and microfibril bundles. From the scattering data, we see an uh, increase in the interfibril distance, so uh, plain swelling. But what is interesting is uh, the mechanism uh, that leads to the swelling and what happens in the space between the microfibrils that is, uh, according to current knowledge, occupied by hemicellulosis. I think the role of water is very crucial for the properties of wood as a material on one side and on the other side also for a lot of applications from wood and basically all kinds of uh, plant cell wall based materials. Because water is everywhere in the nanostructure and it also is related to how the, uh, the, what is the accessibility of the different components in the structure. So this is important, for instance, for fractionation of biomass. This research also enables us to exploit the hygroscopic properties of cellulose in specific applications, rather than just design ways of getting around them. 